one is using the toll booth. Damn it, we need those 75 senses to depython the town fountain. Get those cheapskates through that toll by any means necessary. Got it. No survivors. No shooting. But it's already cocked. All right, shoot it in the fireplace. <laughs> what the hell, oh, kidding? Tire spikes? Oh, they blocked my shortcut. I'm trapped like the L in a BLT. We've gone over the spikes, Tim. We're going to have to come up with 75 cents. Don't worry, this one's on Jesus. Cool for once. In five years, 80. <laughs> Assuming voter approval. No! Oh, boy. My tires have been severely damaged. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Seymour, get out and change the tires. I don't have four spares, Mother. You don't have four anything. I fell in. Field, where the melting ice cap has revealed a discovery so gruesome we'll give you a moment to get the children out of the room. That's long enough. Here it is. A frozen mailman somehow buried in ice several decades ago. For further analysis, here's the one scientist who's always home when we call, Professor John Frank. Uh, based on the ice core samples and the size of the mailman's bell bottoms, let's measure that there, we have determined he was frozen sometime in the 1960s. Swinging for all, except for me, I was making napalm to drop on to nine. The post office has promised to deliver every letter in this 40-year-old mailbag. So, get ready, Mr. Largo. <laughs> you were accepted to Juilliard. Ah, I got into Juilliard? I could have been stuck in chair with the Cincinnati Pops. I'm C3D2. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Here you go, Billy. What's this, a letter from 1966? <laughs> This says I ain't allergic to pollen. So I could have gone to the park and played with other kids. I gotta make up for lost time. <laughs> Sitting in a rocking chair, eating baby crackers. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, banana. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Wash those June bugs off of me. Yeah.